So I think uh, it probably makes sense to save questions to the end. So I am going to take a quick look and see if we've had any more lightning talk signups. We have not. So we've got two lightning talks now. Um, I still am happy to let more people up to the mic if they want to from the room or are excited to uh, do an impromptu virtual. But if not, I think we have plenty of content to keep us uh, interested. Uh, so if you'll bear with me, I'm going to dive in first with my own lightning talk that I wrote this morning. So <laughs> I hope it's coherent. Um, and I am going to talk to you about folio reporting with help from Viewfind. Uh, so first, a little bit of background. Uh, at Villanova University, we migrated from Voyager to Folio in January of this year. Uh, of course, reporting is really important to many stakeholders within our library. Uh, and previously we were on Voyager, so we used Voyager solution, which is pointing Microsoft Access at Voyager's Oracle database, which everyone loves. No, uh, there were problems with that solution. Uh, it was really slow with little or no useful feedback. You love pressing that run query button and then just waiting for three hours, wondering whether or not you'd get results. Usually you did. Uh, the SQL editor was terrible. Uh, Microsoft is good at making IDEs. I don't understand why they have a white box with unwrapped text as their SQL editor in access. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was hard to install and configure it because of all the drivers and whatnot. So it wasn't really accessible to all staff. Benefits. It kind of worked. Uh, so new architecture now that we're on Folio, uh, we have a Postgres server, which we run locally and all our data lives there. Um, somebody on my team uh, used a Python-based migration tool to migrate the whole Oracle database into Postgres. So we have all our legacy data available to us. I think it was this thing I have on the slide, but if I'm wrong, uh, he can correct me someday. Uh, we use LD Lite, so there's an overnight process that loads the previous day's folio data into Postgres, so then we have legacy and current data in there. Uh, we're using dBeaver to develop and execute queries, and then frequently used queries are published into a local custom viewfind module, which is available to our staff, uh, bringing self-service forward in a way that was not possible with access. Uh, and that is the Villanova reports module. It looks like this. We have categories of reports and staff can run the reports, download things. Some of the reports are parameterized. I'll go into a little more detail. So features, it can connect to multiple databases because we have separate legacy and contemporary uh, databases. It can output data to CSV for immediate download or it can render it on screen in a fairly crude table. Uh, it supports parameterized queries. So for some queries, you click, you get a form, you fill in some details, then it runs your query. Uh, and it has granular permissions, so different departments can be configured so their staff can only see their reports, et cetera. So how does this work? Uh, it's a standalone viewfind module. So it's its own block of code. We only turn it on through the local modules environment variable in places where we want it to run. There's no way you can possibly get to this code if it happens to live on a server where we don't want it enabled. Mm -hmm. uh, it uses PDO to connect to the database uh, because we're in the middle of moving abstraction layers. I didn't wanna commit to anything that I have to rewrite and PDO is just right there in PHP and pretty much works. Um, it reads a directory full of SQL files and any files that share a file name to populate all the menus. So you have your query and then you have a configuration about what category it's in, what permission it requires, what parameters, et cetera. Uh, and the permissions is based on ViewFind's native permissioning. So permissions.ini, you define the permissions and who has them and then that gets applied to the queries. It's certainly not fully done. Uh, things to do include adding more robust parameter support. It would be nice to have support for things like drop-down menus or input validation. Right now it's just a box you put a string in, the string goes into a placeholder in the query. It does get escaped and so forth, but uh, not fancy. Uh, it could become more efficient. I wrote the base of this in like a day, so I did it for simplicity, not efficiency. Uh, and it would be good to share the code if anyone else cares. It's 
kind of tailored to our use case, but I also wrote it in a fairly generic way. So I have no current plans to open source this, but I have no objection to doing it if somebody really wants to see it. So just reach out to me if this is of any interest to you. And that's it. Uh, you know where to find me. Thank you.